This is the thermales. You should come. Hello. So today I want to talk to you about our trip to the hot springs in Santa Rosa de Cabal. Or in Spanish, Los Termales de Santa Rosa Cabal. We had an amazing trip, saw the beautiful hot springs bathed in natural hot water, <laughs> which was great, and just enjoyed the scenery that uh, Santa Rosa and Risaralda has to offer. So we traveled from Pereira straight to the hot springs. We stopped and had a little lunch in Santa Rosa, but the total time it would take um, if you follow Google, it's about an hour and five to ten minutes. Now, it took us a little bit longer, excluding the lunch, because it started to rain when we were about ten minutes out um, from the Termales, the hot springs. It started to rain, and so the road at a certain point is um, just like a dirt road or a gravel road. And so when it's raining, it definitely is not at its best. And so it took us just a little bit longer and when you arrive there to the hot springs, there is parking and you can park, there's plenty of space, and then you have to walk up to the hot springs. Um, we purchased or we reserved our tickets well in advance, about a week in advance. And so we stopped on the way to the hot springs, we stopped at one of the kiosks where we bought the tickets from online and we picked up our little passes, which are little wristbands. And uh, we were a party of nine, including a small baby who did not have to pay. And there are different passports, that's what they're called, that you can purchase when you go to the hot springs. The, and um, we just got the basic one, which is called the Passport Termal, which included just bathing, bathing in the four different pools, and also access to the Santa Helena waterfall. So you have to pick a time slot when you make your reservation. And there are three time slots. There, the first time slot is from 6.30 in the morning to 10.30 a.m. The, the second time slot is from 11.30 in the morning to 5 p.m. And the last time slot is from 6 p.m. in the afternoon to 11.30 p.m. Now I just wanna make a clarification. You have to pick your time slot when you book your reservation for a weekend or a holiday. So Friday through Sunday or Monday, if it's a holiday, you have to pick a time slot. But if you go to the hot springs during the week, you can stay as long as you want. <laughs> like it opens at 6 30 in the morning and it closes at 11 30 at night and you could stay the whole day. Um, you wouldn't have to pick a time slot. And so that's the plus of going during the week when no one else is there. Um, so anyway, I think it's also important to mention that anyone over the height of 120 centimeters pays an adult price. So I have an eight year old and he had to pay an adult ticket because he's over 120 centimeters. And the child ticket, the child passport, what they call it, is for children between the ages of three to six who, uh, whose height ranges between 90 centimeters to 120 centimeters. We also had a baby in our party and the baby did not have to pay because the baby is smaller than 90 centimeters. And so that was the plus. And so anyway, once you arrive to the actual hot springs, there's parking and you have to walk up to the hot springs. But when we arrived, like I mentioned before, it was raining and we had an elderly lady in our party, a baby and three other kids. And so, Luckily, the um, Hot Springs does provide transportation services for the elderly, for those who um, are handicapped, and in our case, for small children, because it was raining and pretty hard, there was no way they were going to walk up. And so they were able to take the shuttle service up to the Hot Springs while myself, my husband, my friend, and my friend's husband walked the, the way. And it was beautiful, gorgeous, as you can see in these pictures. It was just amazing. Took lots of videos, lots of pictures. And then once we got to the actual pools, it was pretty packed. 
Now we did get the second turn, which was from 1130 to 5 p.m. And we arrived like around two o'clock, but it was still pretty packed. And there were people leaving um, at the end of this video. I will show you the quick video of what it looks like on a crazy weekend. It's pretty packed, but it was a beautiful experience. I think it's really close to Pineda and I really think it's worth the trip and it wasn't that expensive. So if you get a chance to come to Pineda, please go check out the hot springs. It'll totally be worth the, the short trip and it's a little cooler. So make sure you pack like a sweater or something to keep yourself warm after you get out of the hot springs and come see Risa Alba. The views on the way there were just spectacular. We got to see a beautiful sunset. So I hope you take the risk and come visit Colombia. Thank you. 